Well, so much for it not snowing again for a few days. Mother Nature kicked in last night and we got it about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of snow last night. And it's, it's still kind of coming down a little bit. So we'll get the brackets done to this plow bucket and we'll have some fresh snow to test out on. I've got an idea on how I can fasten some brackets to this plow. If I can get this or a couple of these bars, this is just conduit, three quarter inch conduit, but it's just pretty stout depending on how you use it. If I can kind of wrap it around the, the plow, it'll add some rigidity from top to bottom and it'll give me something to start brackets off of to uh, go down to the bucket on the backhoe. So I'm gonna use this conduit bender, a little bit different than it's normally used. It's easier for me to control a bend. Uh, if I have it stuck in a vise. The beautiful thing about metal, it's not a one and done thing. You can always manipulate it. If I get the arc right, oh, that's pretty close right there. A little bit tighter in a couple little areas. I plan on putting it at an angle like that. So this arc faces straight forward from the bucket. I think it'd be better if I put it at that much of an angle and weld it to the bottom bracket and the top bracket and then tack weld it to the barrel all the way around. And then I can come bring brackets off of this to go to the bolt holes. And then I'm gonna need to add some cross braces on the bottom and go out to the nose to support that nose to keep it from digging in and, and bending back. But this is where I'm going to start for now and get these done. Give me a starting point. I'll show you what I got so far. I've got these hoops welded on to both sides here. See these little hoops that go around to support from top to bottom of the bucket and kind of keep the, the round of the bucket. They are welded in three or four different spots going around and then really solid weld to each upper and lower support there. And then I've got the a start for a support for the nose. Let me tilt this up upside down and I'll show you. So I had this black pipe that I welded in to support the nose a little bit to keep it more rigid, more at the correct angle to keep it from flexing too much. I still need to figure out a little bit more of a support for that maybe a support from top to bottom through that, that middle, maybe another hoop like I have over there. Maybe I'll put another one in there. I don't know yet, but I've got to get some brackets coming off the top and bottom supports and get some bolts and nuts and bolts for the sides of the bucket. I'm going to flip this thing back over, set it up next to the bucket, and see if I can get some brackets, maybe two on each side going to some holes in the bucket. And I'm gonna drill the holes symmetrical or close to symmetrical so the brackets look somewhat symmetrical from side to side. The last bucket I had, I just drilled holes wherever they would fit. So I'm kind of turning my bucket into Swiss cheese, but I can always weld some of the holes back up later. So let me get this thing flipped back over and kind of mocked up, maybe get four supports, four brackets with nuts and bolts going from the plow bucket to the backhoe bucket. And we'll see how strong it kind of looks and where, where it might need some more support. I have four mounting brackets hooked up to this plow. Tack weld into place with a nice heavy tack weld. You can see one mounting bracket down there and then one up top. The same thing on this side. One on the bottom, one on the top. Nice strong tack welds. Not going anywhere, but if 
that something's not working out when I go to put the diagonals in and brace it up. I can break the tack welds or cut the tack welds and move it a little bit if I have to. It doesn't look like I'll need to at this point. I think it's really solid. It's a nice mount. I've got to get some more diagonal bracing in after I get this welded up. So I think what I need to do now is get this thing fired up and get this bucket up in the air a little bit. I want to take a level off the bottom of the bucket, the flat part of the bottom of the bucket, and run it out to the plow and make sure that this plow is level with the bottom of that bucket so that when I set everything down, the bucket and the plow drag the same. There's not one's not catching before the other. And after that, I'll get, that, get it level, I'll solid weld those brackets in, and then I'll add some diagonal brackets going diagonally up and down on the sides and then diagonally in to support the nose of this bucket so that it doesn't go anywhere and it can't shift side to side. So it's all welded up now, nice and solid. I'm pretty confident with it. At one point I had the, uh, the bucket tilted up so the nose of this was straight into the ground and I just put a little bit of pressure on it to see if it'd lift the front of the tractor off the ground. And the front tires got light. I didn't pick the, the tires all the way up off the ground, but they got a little light. You can see them kind of adjust a little bit as uh, some of the pressure was taken off of them. So I think it's pretty strong. I'll give you a closer look at what I did to reinforce it. So here's a, a little view from the backside. I've got two bars going all the way across and a little triangle ladder for support. I tried to put triangles about everywhere I could. I've got another crossbar going to the nose down on the bottom to support that. That makes two triangles up front. And then all the triangles coming across that little ladder there. And then we've got the two bars, top and bottom, that bolt to the bucket and the little hoop and the diagonal that goes between those two bars. Kind of ties it all together over there in the corner. And this thing is pretty solid. I am fairly confident in the uh, structure of this plow. It doesn't have any movement from me pushing on it or pulling on it. It doesn't have a, a lot of weak spots or anything like that in it. We'll take it up to my neighbor's driveway here and, and check it out. I might put another support from that top bolt down to that bar as another triangle if it has too much side to side movement. But uh, we won't know that until we test it out. So let's go take it out. I think that worked out pretty good. The one thing that's still a problem is steering. 
but that's because I don't have a four wheel drive tractor. So I've still got to kind of go back and forth to a point. This bucket, the way it's V'd, if it's already got a path with some decent banks on the side and doesn't have any sharp turns, I don't even have to steer because the bucket will go right through there and it'll push off the berms of the, the snow, the banks of the snow, and it'll just kind of follow that path right up the driveway. So it's not too bad. The one thing, there is a weak point in the end over here. Let me grab the camera and I'll take you over here and show you the weak point. You can see how the bucket's got that bend in it, that fold, and the bottom reinforcement's a little bent up. At some point, this got forced up. And that fold goes right over, if you can see the welds there, goes right over to this reinforcement here. And that reinforcement stopped that bend. So if I make another one of those little half moon reinforcements out of conduit, take it from that corner up there and weld it down to that bottom corner down there, it'll support that whole end piece and hopefully keep that from happening again. That's the only problem it had. It worked out even with the bend there, it still worked fine. The, uh, I had to get used to the pitch so that the nose wasn't, wasn't up. I was, having a, I was worried about the nose catching in to the dirt and the snow and, and putting too much force on it. So I think when I first started out, the nose was up a little bit and it wasn't plowing as well. So I'm gonna make some conduit brackets for these corners, put one on each side. And I think that's gonna be it for the plow bucket. It's working real nice, it's nice and strong, and it moves the snow off to the side. I don't have to worry about it building up in front of the plow. So until next time guys, go make something.